Hi, this is Dave L. David Likes Photography. I'm in Pictures DXE Deluxe 7, and um, I've had I got some slides in here. And uh, one of the nice features of this program, if I go down and hit Publish, is you can uh, publish in several different formats. Uh, specifically, this uh, EXE file uh, to PC or to Mac is probably the nicest feature because you can publish to um, any computer and not have to have QuickTime or Windows Media File or something installed because it won't play if you have to have that specific, uh, you know, like file format. Uh, but these are EXE files, so they'll play on any computer. Uh, so that's a nice feature that, you know, I can give to my clients. And the only other thing that uh, they may not have a computer, so that would be the question. Do you, do you have a computer or do you want to put these on uh, in so I, so they can play on a DVD player. So um, Picture CXE has its own DVD burner here, um, but I'm going to use this in conjunction with another um, disc authoring software or DVD burner. And what you do is you use the AVI video file. Is what you do. There's a little trick to it, so I'm going to show you how to do it. So you click on this. Okay, and I'm going to use uh, HD 1080. And it's uh, hit this button, say create AVI file, and it it's going to say save that. Okay, so I'm going to save that uh, um, project one vid, or let's make it um, uh, LDLs LDLs project. Okay, and I'm going to save that to let's say um, desktop. Okay, so I'm going to save that. So it creates this file, and uh, it says, you know, uh, now you should open this AVA file in a special software and burn the DVD video disk. Note, if you want to prepare this several AVI video files, please start a new copy of Pictures DXE for each presentation. After you have fully burned the disk, please click Finish button. So if you click this Finish button now, uh, the file will disappear that we just saved. So what you got to do is you go in and get this file, which is this LDL's Project 63 AVI. Okay, so um, before we do that, um, well, let's go ahead and find it. Uh, LDL's, um, let's see, and it's, uh, here it is right here. Okay, so I'm going to put that over here somewhere. And now I'm going to crank up uh, Corel DVD Movie Factory 7. Pro, which is, uh, I'm using this software because it has more features when you burn the disk than uh, EX, Pictures EXE has. So we'll select uh, Create a Video Disk, and I'm going to author it to a DVD, uh, and it cranks up uh, Movie Factory. And now what we do is, um, the trick here is to take this file and drag it into that we have this LDL's project into um, Corel. So I just click on the file and drag it over and drop it in there. And you see it's 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 starting it's come in and uh, it's starting to uh, process the file as it come as it came into this program. So I'm waiting for it to uh, to finish loading. So I can I can close this file out here over here. Okay. Um, and wait for the, the file to fully load up into Movie Factory, okay, that I created in Pictures DXE. And I can view the slideshow right here. And you can see it's working fine. Uh, it has a bunch of other nice things, is you can create chapters. Uh, uh, up here you can add or create chapters. You can edit the, the video if you want. Uh, so I have a lot more things I can do in this program, and that's why I use it. So uh, now we hit Next, and it has all these gallery features. It has editing features uh, that you can add. And um, so I'm going to come down here to um, this one. I like this one a lot. And um, we'll call this My Show. And um, this is going to be uh, a slideshow. Okay, so 
uh, we can preview this and uh, as uh, uh, you know, it actually it's got this preview thing and then you can actually hit this button here just like you on your um, your DVD player and it'll crank up the show so that's cool so we're gonna back out of that and uh, now we're gonna go in to completely start burning this so we'll just go ahead and hit next okay okay and it takes me into to the burn and then I would hit I would hit burn and uh, I've already burnt this so I'm going to show you what it looks like um, so uh, we'll close out a movie factory then now you can hit finish and we'll close out of this and um, I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, actually crank up my movie so this is the actual DVD playing and um, I had already pre-started it so it didn't it didn't start from the beginning so let's go back to the, the beginning where it should so here it is um, and uh, this is the, um, the some of the nice features of uh, movie factory and then if you click on the on the on either one of these arrows it'll go into the actual slideshow and this is all running off of the uh, the DVD comes everything with music and uh, runs through the slides um, are very simple with the slideshow I just use common fades and, and uh, music um, and so you can see the fades and um, how the show runs with the music and that's the show Okay, it starts over again, but we don't we don't need to see it again, so we're gonna close out of that. And that's it. That's uh, that's how you do that. I'm Dave. L. David likes photography. Thanks for watching.